This video tutorial will guide you with how to use the email selection tool in all orders. This is a new preference that will allow users to pick and choose which emails to send to CC and BCC when emailing quotes, sales orders, and ship docs. Our first step will be to enable the preference. You will need to be updated to version 6.2.17 or higher in order to have this preference available. Once you are logged in as the admin, you can go to Company, Preferences, Sales Orders, and under Company Preferences, you will find the Advanced sub-tab. Here, you will find the checkbox to check that will enable the email picker. Once you have selected it, select OK to apply this new tool. Before we get started with using the email selection tool, let's take a look at the customer setup that we'll be using in today's example. This is the customer that we will be using. Under the customer, you will be able to set up the emails that will be used for billing, under the Billing Info tab, for shipping, and for contacts. You'll notice that under Shipping and Contacts, you will be able to add multiple ship to and multiple contact information. You can add multiple ship to by using the Add New button at the bottom. Same as adding multiple contacts. You can use the Add New button at the bottom to add multiple contacts. Under the shipping and the contact section, you will also find that for each shipping and for each contact, you will have a default form section. In this section, you can default the forms that you want to apply for this specific shipping or for the specific contact. Now let's get started with using the email selection tool. In the quote, sales order, or ship doc for that customer, you will notice that the contact field is already defaulted. Once you have completed your quote, sales order, or ship doc, and you're ready to email, click on the email button at the top in the mini toolbar. You will then have a window with a selection of email addresses to select from. Notice that these are the email addresses that are set up under the customer. By default, the contact information that I have for the customer is the one that will show up on the list. If I want to change this, I can simply select Cancel and leave my contact blank. When I go to select email, I will now have all of the contact options that I have set up under the customer to select from. In addition to the type of contact, you will also see the report that you've defaulted for that specific email address. All you simply have to do is check the boxes for who you want to email to, who you want to CC, and who would you like to BCC. If you don't want to BCC or CC anyone, you can just simply leave the boxes unchecked. Once you're done, just select OK, and you will see the email windows for the emails that you're going to send. If you have selected to email multiple forms, you will get a separate email window for each one. Click on Send once you're ready to send your emails. This concludes this video tutorial on how to use the email selection tool in all orders.